Let's work on SaaS. Today we will uh, see how we can use SaaS on HTML page. As you all know, we can't use SaaS directly because browser does not understand SaaS. So we have to compile first it into CSS, then we can use it into HTML. So here uh, I have created a simple HTML file. So let's work on it and link it with SaaS. Okay, first let's, let's create uh, an SCSS file. For this, we will create an SCSS file. Okay. Sample dot SCSS. Its extension will be SCSS. Okay. So we have created a simple SCSS file. Uh, for use for linking a uh, SAS file, we have to use an ex visual code extension which will compile SCSS to CS CSS. Then we will link it into uh, index.html page. So, uh, visual code has that extension. I am using visual code for this. So, let's search that extension. The name of this extension is live SAS compiler. I'll write in description also. I'll write in. I'll write. Okay. Uh, as you see, I have already installed this extension. So now let's quickly work on this. So as you all know, we have, uh, as you all know, as you all know, SAS is best known for code usability. We can define our desired value in variable, and we can use it anywhere in file. So first, uh, define a variable. We can define a variable by using dollar sign. Uh, now we will define background a text color. So, in order to use these variables, we will use a um, Let's okay. We have H1 and P tag. Let's assume we want background color red. Background. We will use that variable. And uh, now we want. Uh, text color of uh, p tag and h1 to be red and le uh, let's see how it will h1 color text color and p tag Let's use a uh, black color for para <coughs> Okay. So now we have created some simple SCSS commands. Now how to link this into our HTML? So as you all know, we have installed live CSS compiler uh, with live SAS compiler, sorry, which will compile SAS into CSS. Then it will 
then we will able to link it uh, in our HTML file. So for using our sample dot CSS file in HTML index or HTML, let's uh, compile it first and it into CSS. So after installing live CSS compiler in VS Code, you can see here uh, it is watch SAS written. Click this. Okay, as you all know, <coughs> after installing the extension, live SAS compiler extension, as you can see here at the bottom, it's written watch SAS. Click on this to convert SAS file into CSS file. I, as I clicked, it converted uh, sample as CSS file into uh, sample CSS file. Now link this. I'll copy. The, now we will copy this extension and file name, and paste it into our HTML. Okay. Now link it with uh, HTML file part. paste the desired path which we got from here okay now save this and now let's run over and the HTML to see if it changes or not Oh, as you can see, our file is completely working. So that extension compiled SAS it into CSS, then uh, it works perfectly fine. As we defined background color red here in this variable, red color is saved. So as we set background color red. Heading color, text color white, and paragraph color black, text color black, para color is equals to black. So, okay, guys. Okay, guys. So this was the tutorial to link. SCSS file to HTML by using an extension which is easily available on Visual Code. I'll post link in description to download Visual Code and I will also paste the link of SAS documentation so you can learn more about SAS. Okay, guys, do subscribe my channel if you want to learn something. You can easily uh, simply ask in my comment section. Or you can message me as well. I'll make a video of it too. Thanks for watching.